Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Strife. In the last part, we died way too much, but we got the fourth piece of the sigil, and we also got a stamina increase, which is nice. So, yeah, so I guess we'll just leave. I guess we'll just leave. I guess. So anyway, so we gotta get back to the Oracle, because we gotta figure out where on earth is the fifth piece. I wonder where it could be. You'll be pleased to know that I killed all these guys on the way out. On the way in last time. So it's really easy to get back. All you have to do is just go into the lift and kill the spider. There we go. I also don't know how much how I got all this rocket ammo. I think I am. I really don't know. So we'll go back to the Oracle and he's all like Kill him! Oh, he's a skeleton all along. And also a spectre just completely like telefragged me right there. So anyway, let's just hit him with some really basic lightning right here. Whoa! Ooh, where'd he go? Oh hey! There we go. Easy. If you wield the power of the complete sigil, what do you say we go get some closure? Yeah! So anyway, so where'd that button go? Who knows? So I believe where we yeah. Uh... Also, I think this is a bit weird because uh at this point you're supposed to in in the good story you get told of a door that only opens if you've got the, the whole sigil. But I think in this one it's a bit weird. Hold on, I'll figure out where I gotta go. <laughs> ah. Yeah, apparently it's all the way back through the proving grounds. Uh, I think it's that it's that like door at the very end. So I guess where we gotta go all the way back around. Yay. <laughs> oh, except this is gonna kill me. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. So we gotta go back to the proving grounds, apparently. Ooh, Ooh I went back into the teleporter. Ooh. What? Stop going back into the teleporter! Wow, how did I keep triggering that? So we gotta go back to the proving grounds, because apparently, uh, the door at the end only opens once you've got the whole sigil. And conveniently, we got it right now, but we had to wait a little bit for it. That's okay. Shouldn't be too hard to get back, because it's right here. Uh, we'll take the long way. This, I, I'm not a big fan of the lab, because it's so, like, vertical. You're just like, oh, I'm just gonna, like, step down. And it's like, no, you're gonna take a bit of full damage going down there. Like, 60. So anyway, if we go here, now that we've got the whole sigil. Oh. There we go. Here we are. And down we go. Well, now we're at the alien ship. Where we get stocked up with all this stuff because we are literally at the end of the game. So you may be wondering. Ah, oh, jeez. Why can't I jump up on that ledge? I just, I just tried jumping up like a billion times. It's the same height as the other ledge. All right, sure. Now you're gonna need as many health kits as you can. Which is why they just gave me ammo instead of health kits. I've also got ten dollars, so I can't. I, oh my gosh, dude! Just I don't even want to fight this guy. Just, just I don't even. Cause you could just run past him. It doesn't really matter. You hear that breathing? That's the mid '90s calling. Platform with a bit of perilous walking. These, these are apparently two doors side by side. And now we're in the Entity's Lair. Which, I don't even know much to be honest about what's going on, but uh, 
sure. I believe we can grab some health, but no. That doesn't help much, to be honest. I think we can wing it. Anyway, here we are. Now, there's a bad ending to this game, as well as the okay ending, and I will be demonstrating. Welcome. I have waited for this moment. I have waited for a fool like you to bring me my freedom. Your tiny planet is mine, and you will wish you were never born. Ah, uh, Sure. So there's an egg. Let's blow it up. But uh, there is a bad ending to this game, and I'll be demonstrating it in one fell swoop. Sigil? Alright, Sigil. Anyway, here here it is, the final boss of whatever I am know, the entity? We'll call it that. All you have to do is just hit it a lot with the Sigil. It's a bit... easy. Let's just say, actually I got the okay ending. Oh wait, no, it's two forms! <laughs> now you gotta do it three times! So let's demonstrate this, uh, this bad ending. And the way to do that is just to die. That's how you get the bad ending. Let's just stand right next to this guy. You know, they don't do a lot of damage. Well, they have a melee attack. The sentient virus hit us like a tidal wave, driving us all mad. We heard the siren song of death, and we danced. This evil drained us of all human life, and scornful of procreation, recycled our families. Then one day, the evil left. There was simply nothing for it to feed on. We were extinct. Hooray for bad endings! So of course we don't want to let that happen. So let's actually like fight these guys. Now, not too bad, but the really annoying part is if you don't have a lot of health, Conveniently, I killed two of them in one go. You can't, it's, it, all you gotta do is just master that aim. Yes, the evil was gone, but our future was uncertain and clouded with doubt. It would take generations to purge the virus from our people, if we survived that long. Whatever the evil wanted, it drained from us the one thing we needed. It left us without hope. So the okay ending, even though everyone won, apparently everyone's sad, I don't know. So that was Strife, or at least the bad, the bad story. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to make a new save. Loading back from before we uh, killed Maisel. What we're gonna do is... We are going to say that uh, we're going to kill Maisel though. Now, you can still back out of this. You can still go, oh, I, you, you can go to Maisel, oh, you're right, the Oracle is the traitor, and you go back onto the good story. But uh, the reason why we're just saying no, you can't you can just kill the Oracle just right there. Why we're saying no is because you have to actually say no in order to get one of the upgrades. I know, it's a bit weird. But, uh... So let's go all the way back, and I know it's like, oh my gosh, why are we still going? You just finished the game, why are you still going? I, it's because I timed it bad. <laughs> well, because it's not very long, like, after you beat the end of the game, because all you have to do is basically just kill the Oracle really easy, and then you just Michael Bolton through one level, and I have no clue where I'm going. I apparently have not walked over in this area. I like this part. <laughs> you guys remember this part. Why they can join the maps, who knows. Uh, where's the... Oh my gosh, it's just... Some of these maps are just ginormous. Oh, I just noticed the shadow doesn't line up. It's like 8 o'clock sun. So, uh, I believe what we gotta do if we wanna get the... Uh, what we wanna do is we wanna just uh, go into here. I guess technically you can get some of these upgrades like in the bad story. But, uh, I think it's better just to do it on a good story. So right now, hey. So we got some stamina, which is nice. Uh, I believe we can also get some accuracy. There we go. Teleporter beacon. We never use the teleporter beacon. So yeah, so 
now we'll go up to Maisel and he's all just like What prompts your return? Are you hurt? There's no time to lose. Continue with your mission. Complete the sigil. I have sworn myself to freedom. It is the Oracle who holds the third piece. There's your traitor. You have made the right decision. It's clear that the Oracle is controlled by whatever evil is driving the order. Return to it and claim the third piece of the sigil. Onward, my champion. Let's make Mr. Ugly twist and shout. Okay. So yeah, so all you have to do is basically just say that. Uh... And that means we have to kill the Oracle twice in one episode. That's a bit weird. <laughs> See, it's a bit... I think it's really strange because the Oracle is quite easy. And I think it's because the good story expects you to beat it, like, now. Whereas, uh... Whereas in, like, the bad story, it's just, like, right near the end. Literally the second last thing you do. The final boss isn't too bad either, to be honest. It's a bit weird. Uh... By the way, I think we should check out the path to the s south of us that I accidentally went back into the place. Uh, why don't we just do it the long way? I know there's a teleporter, but let's just do it the cool way, because I want to check out that area that we never really go to. Like, how do you even get in here? There's a door. There we go. I think it's just everyone loves going down the secret path. Get him! Get him! Through the woodworks. I guess that's closed. Uh, what about this? That's closed too. Taking their hits. Nice. Oop. Health! I must grab it, but I can't! I'm too short. Hello, Mr. Rocket Man. There you go. Not too bad. Alright, so you got some bits over here. I, I haven't actually like, checked out this area ever. Okay, there's a lot of dudes coming for me, so I'm just gonna kind of speed run it. Get the switch, I guess. And then run! Back down the ledge. Oh, you. Wow. Like, sometimes they just shield it. Makes no sense. Ow. I hit you in the underside. I think there's a BFG man or whatever. I would like to drop down. I'm gonna drop down. Ah! Ow. Dang it, spiders! Spiders, every time. Every time, spiders. Come on. There we go. Even more switches. Where does this go, you may ask? Different area. Oh, back out in this room. Nice. Alright. So, I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to go this way. I actually have never gone this way. You don't actually really ever have to. You've got the teleporter right there. If you go the other way, so... You are brave, my comrade. I'm proud to be along for the ride. I'm not too sure. Also, did you guys think it was a bit weird that Blackbird was the villain the whole time? I know. It comes out of nowhere. Anyway, now let's pick up this blue thing. Because this is going to be important later. But right now, we got an oracle we got to blow up. The river of time moves forever onward while you stand still. I think you're really just free to kill either one of them at this point. There's not really any big uh, deciding factor. Now, the only difference between having to kill them now is that you're. you're Thing's not as good. But I don't think this should really stop us from having trouble with it. Ow! That's mean. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I killed him. Well, least. so much for prognostication. Hold it. Mason is calling us back. Let's oh. get out of here in one piece. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so I guess we'll go back to the Borderlands. Uh, 
Okay, let's, uh... Oh, this way, it's way back at the base. Ah! Backtracking, I am not paying attention at all. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So maybe... Mesa will give us some good advice. But, just before we do that, and I know it's just like, Oh my gosh, you keep saying that, just like, just before you do stuff. Uh. Just before we do that, if we go back into this place, I know, right? Oh. I think we gotta talk to Mesa first. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm just gonna save, because... Anyway, we go up to Mesa and he's like... There seems no end to the horror we face. We have found out that the Order is not killing our people, it is transforming them into biomechanical soldiers. Find the facility where this is being done, and close it permanently. Biomechanical? Well, that explains their seemingly endless supply of troops, and their bad attitude. Ah! One of our captains, Richter, is waiting for you by the waterfall in the commons. He has seen the facility and can guide you inside. Stop this atrocity. Now. Okay. So now we can pick up the health, right? Right? There we go. Now we're cooking. So, <laughs> now we've got a ridiculous amount of health. And also a bit of accuracy. Now there's, uh... <laughs> I think you can pretty much tell one of the power-ups is just by beating the... The... Boss guy. It just kind of happens. Uh, but anyway, with that, I'll end the part off here. We'll see you kids next time when we will head to the factory, I guess. Anyway, see you kids later. Bye-bye!